Hello Filmic Mix, you said I saw Jessica. I thought that I would share some memories involving the monkeys before I liked the monkeys. You might recognize this topic from the Beatles submarine when some mem members of the Beatles submarine decided to share their memories of the Beatles before they liked the Beatles. Let's get right into my three memories that I remember so well. I remember that Spongebob episode, um, you know, you know the one that I'm talking about, where the Flying Dutchman is at the bottom of the ocean and is suddenly in a locker. That locker ended up being Davy Jonas' locker. And I've heard that phrase many a time throughout that, the series, back when the series was good. You know, I had heard of the term Davy Jones' locker and I'm like, oh, was he a real person? Like, I always wondered that. You know, and I asked my mom and she said, yeah, there was a real Davy Jones. And the real Davy Jones that my mother spoke of was in that episode of Spongebob when the Flying Dutchman was getting socks thrown down him. What the? Stoop sock. And I didn't realize, you know, that, you know, it was a member of the monkeys at the time. Because, you know, I heard the name Davy Jones many times, but I didn't realize who he really was. Yeah, that's right, baby. Welcome to my locker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the song Daydream Believer was playing in the background, and I, I didn't make that connection. For a daydream believer and a homecoming queen. <laughs> I, I never made that connection. So, that was memory number one. Memory number two, I was 11 or 12 years old, and I was on vacation with my folks. We It was myself, my dad, his current wife and my brother, we all went, you know, we kind of stayed at my stepmother's boss's family's cabin on an island for the weekend and it was fun. It was a really fun vacation and I enjoyed it. And they had this big box of VHS tapes and a VHS player. So after watching a few films, my dad picked up a VHS tape, looked at me saying, hey Jessica, you might actually like this group. They're called the Monkees. And I went, okay, what movie is this? It was Head. Whew, y'all probably know where this is going. I watched Head five years before I was a Monkees fan. And not that it's a bad thing, but you know, you, you can see where that's a little weird. So I watched the first half of Head before telling my dad to turn it off. Cause you know, I was bored, my brother was bored. My brother's not even that big of a Monkees fan. He knows who the Monkees are, but he's not a fan of it. So he, he agreed we should turn it off. My dad said, yeah, I probably should have thought that through. <laughs> yeah, so I watched Head years before I got into the Monkees. Third and final memory I will talk about um, is when I had a account on a um, site called Quotov and it's a fan fiction website but I use it more for role playing <laughs> purposes. Well I used to, I deactivated my account over a year ago. I made a decent amount of friends on that um, site and you know I'm still very good friends with him to this day and it's been like four or five years. Two of those friends was a Michael Nesmith and a Peter Tork role playing account. And that was before I knew who Michael Nesmith was. I knew who Peter Tork was, you know, random research when that account followed me. Anyways, you know, I got close with them and they were like a Tork Smith couple on <laughs> quote of. Anyways, they talked a lot about the monkeys and I kind of had to play along because, you know, I didn't want to seem totally clueless. It was like, I knew little bits and pieces about the monkeys, but not a lot. So that was, yeah. And that was the time I was a fake fan for a short time. But anyways, interesting that I became friends with the roleplay account of my favorite person before I knew who that person was. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, I find that interesting, but you know, it's a nice memory. It's a, I have very fond memories with that human being and I love her to this day. So that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any memories, of the monkeys before you were fans of them that you want to share, be sure to share them in the comment section below. Because, you know, I, I like reading comments for you guys. It lets me know that you're there, you know? Yeah. Oh, and thank you so much. We recently hit 330 subscribers. Like, four, actually, I think that was weeks ago. Recently had, like, a massive number of subscribers here, and, you know, we were all dumbfounded. 
Like, seriously, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate everything you guys do for this channel. Like, you know, liking our videos, leaving comments, and subscribing. For real, it means a lot to us. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you all next week.